All right, this is not a how-to video. This is a, okay, that's cool. I see what you did there, video. Uh, once again, 2018 Mahindra Rocksor. Going on a long trip here in a couple days. Clinton, Indiana to Wichita, Kansas. In the, for Christmas, on top of that. I'm gonna go over what I've done on the air side from the air filter to the intake connection kit. I purchased everything on Black Friday through Diesel Freaks. Wade is the guy you want to get a hold of out of Michigan. There's a lot of videos out there, not really, on how to do this stuff. So uh, if you're trying to figure it out, good luck. Most of it's pretty straightforward. And when I say most of it, I mean a lot of it's straightforward. I had some problems, but... I mean, it's my first time doing this on, uh, like, the electric fan conversion or installing those pods for the water, oil pressure, and battery voltage. But anyway, we'll get to that in a different video. This will require you to send your ECM off to Wade for a tune. So you can't just buy all this and slap it on and say, all right, here we go, full send. So to keep the video short... This is all that has been installed. The horn. I relocated it. Does it matter? No. Do you care? You shouldn't. Where was it? Well, it was like right in there. But yeah, it's a pretty good modification. It's where I want it. Not sure how loud it is now since it's blowing into this piece of foam. All right, yeah, back to what you came to see. So from the air filter back down to the turbo, that pipe is bolted on here and is held in place by these clamps. Pretty solid, actually. I have another bracket coming from Wade for uh, here, for those of you that was like, hey, look, you're missing a bracket. <clears throat> the air filter cleaner gauge, you're able to reuse that. That's great. Went down to the new RX41 turbo. That was not that hard of an install. It's just hard to get to some of the bolts. The only problem I had was why in the hell did I get sent this little syringe with my turbo? Well, got a hold of Wade and he's like, well, you're supposed to prime it. Whenever you're putting this turbo in, before you put the oil feed line on, fill it up with oil and then Whenever you start this up for the first time, you got to let it idle for a little bit, let the turbo break in. So, leaving the turbo, this pipe right here, you're able to reuse this sensor. Goes down into the side. I used a four inch hole saw. I didn't really cut it in the best spot. I should have cut it a little bit lower, but Oh well, it's done. The intercooler is in. White has a bracket that came with it. It's actually quite sturdy. This bracket bolts to the bottom of the intercooler and then goes over and bolts down to the side. Leaving the intercooler, this pipe right here, um, you don't need to use this if you don't want to, but that's for sensor if you want to install one this moves a good little bit I'm probably gonna to have to secure it with zip ties because all good things are held together with zip ties and duct tape and bailing wire intake connection kit right here you reuse the heater coil it's inside here everything else is uh, new from Wade very surprised at how bad that OEM intake connection was, how much blow-by it was allowing. So that's it for the air side. I guess I can show you everything that was removed. Here's that stock intake connection. It's garbage, man. 
just let so much air blow by. Air filter back down to the turbo. You don't need that anymore. Here's the turbo. This is literally how I removed it. Come inside here. So, yep. Pull these two nuts off, pull the nut off that one, then remove your downpipe bolts. It, the new one comes with uh, new studs and nuts for here, so you don't have to reuse that. It comes with new gaskets. This your oil supply. Top that off with oil. This is your oil drain. Oh, no. Those of you that want to know, that's what your turbo looks like on the inside. This comes off. Don't need it anymore. If anybody needs or, needs or wants these EGR block off plates, I have some. Here's the EGR. Don't need it. Never needed it. This thing. Don't need it. Never needed it. Oh, one more thing. Whenever you remove all those little tubes, you can plug it, cut a piece of tubing off, put a little screw in there. Because it's sucking air. So that's it for the air side modifications.